Charles V and his brother Emperor Ferdinand I battled the German rulers Philip of Hesse and John Frederick of Saxony, who had formed a league to protect their reformed faith. Crossing the Elbe River, the Imperialists took the initiative at the Battle of Moldberg. The Protestants were positioned at the edge of the woods to protect their rear, but the battle was concluded when the Protestants fled. John Frederick of Saxony surrendered after suffering a wound to his face. Commanding the Imperialist left wing of cavalry was Ferdinand I. Charles V was present at the battle. and the Duke of Alba commanded the right wing of horse. It was Alba who had proposed the successful battle plan at Mulberg and had gained renown throughout Europe. After arriving in Brussels, Alba summoned the three leading nobles to a banquet. What Count Egmont and Count Horn thought was a cordial exercise in politics ended with the two Dutchmen being arrested. Later, the two nobles were taken to the Brussels city square and publicly beheaded. assembled a court to enforce justice from the Bildenstorm, and the Council of Troubles was soon dubbed the Blood Council. Along with torture, 1,037 executions were performed. sentences were decreed, but before Alba arrived, tens of thousands of Dutch subjects immigrated. 
One of those who departed from the Netherlands in time was the heir to a royal Dutch line, Prince William of Orange is best known historically for his moniker, William the Silent. How he gained that nickname is not clear. One account is that Alba's aide said, if Sly William has escaped, his joy will be short-lived, and that the Spanish word Sly was mistranslated to silent. Another account of how Orange became known as William the Silent is when Alba sent the invitations for the banquet to Egmont, Horn, and William, the latter just simply did not reply. After another invitation from Alba was sent, again, William did not respond. The prince stayed at his estate in Germany, Dillenburg Castle. But now that the Dutch were being oppressed and brutalized, the highest ranking and most prominent noble would have to raise an army and defend his people.